Well folks, welcome to Okinawa and this is the Yambaru. Now, Yambaru is a forested region in the north of the island uh, and it's famous for hidden rivers and streams and small waterfalls like this but also for wildlife and that's one of the reasons that we're coming here today is because I'm hoping that as we trek further along this uh, river we'll come into contact with the infamous uh, Okinawa habu which is the a pit viper uh, snake species that is very prevalent in this area uh, and what I'm hoping to do is try and incorporate that into a landscape shot in order to give well, in order to create an image that encompasses the, the whole wild feature or the wild factor of the Yambaru. So uh, we're going to take a stroll up the river and uh, see what we can find. Okay, well, we've been walking along the uh, river for a while and uh, just over my shoulder there's a beautiful little uh, water feature there but there's this prominent rock in the middle of the river and guess what? We've uh, happened across one of Okinawa's more prevalent uh, habu species. In, in fact, this is the Hime habu or the uh, Princess habu as it's known. Uh, very common in this particular area of the island. Uh, so I'm going to get set up. I'm going to set my camera gear up here and not approach her until I'm ready to take the shot because I don't know how she's going to react to my, uh, to my approach and my presence. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, get set up here and then get into position where we can uh, take a shot. seems to have a lot of snake presence and we've got this really nice really calm uh, princess habu or hime habu on a rock in the middle of the river here uh, and what I'm going to be doing uh, I'm shooting with a with the with the lower 12 millimeter sort of super wide angle but what I'm what I'm doing is I'm incorporating all of that background all of the little uh, water features you can see uh, all the way up that creek uh, so we've got the nice green vegetation in the background and what I'm hoping to do is to create an image that, that kind of conjures up the wild aspect of the Yambaru because this place is truly, truly wild, um, untouched. And it's an absolutely stunning, uh, stunning scene that we've got here. Uh, I'm on uh, F8, ISO 100, and I'm doing uh, exposures of 1.3 seconds. I've got a, a soft grad uh, 0.9 to take out and any of the harsh highlights in the background on the vegetation uh, and I've got a uh, 8 uh, ND8 or 3 stop uh, in front of the lens just to take out or just to allow us to hit that extended shutter speed so uh, here we go I'm going to take a series of about four shots and then we'll with each with different uh, focal points and then we'll uh, stack those in Photoshop a little bit later OK, 
Okay, well we were coming further up the river and we've got this beautiful, beautiful little really picturesque waterfall right here. And if you can see that rock just in front of the camera, we've got a nice Himehabu right in the middle of the waterfall. As you can see the snake's right on that rock there. She's a little bit, she can, she's seen me because she's very much in a, a striking pose as it were. Uh, but uh, it's beautiful now because we don't have any sunlight on her or on the surrounding water. So the filters are going to work absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm on ISO 100, F8, um, and for six seconds I've got an ND8, so uh, three stop in front of the lens, and I've got a soft grad 0.9, uh, just at the very limit of the, uh, of the transition, uh, just in order to take the edge off of the uh, white water. So uh, hopefully we'll take a shot and we'll see how it all comes out. Absolutely fantastic. You can see I've changed my composition just a little bit. I've backed off and so that I've got a little bit more uh, area around the rock that the snake is on because it's, I think, with a really nice long shutter, you've got all of those lines of water. It's going to create a really nice, uh, a really nice image. Um, so again, I'm just going to sort out my focus. I'm just going to focus directly on the head of the snake uh, and that's going to be pretty much in the middle of the image. Uh, very easy, easy composition. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking that now this is going to look absolutely superb. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and get sorted out. Sort out my focus point. Well, I can see she's uh, definitely giving me a bit of stink eye right here. Okay. And that's just absolutely beautiful, the, the, the lines of the water. Something's banging on my tripod. I hope it's not a snake. <laughs> the lines of the water around that rock are absolutely beautiful. There's a couple of little twigs in the water, but I'm not going to go and take those out. It's just a little bit too close for my liking. So uh, let's give this another bash. It's just such beautiful lines of the water going around that rock. Looks really nice. Here we go. Okay, well that's, that's absolutely stunning, it really is. Uh, and just to go over the settings for this one, I'm on uh, ISO 100, F8 for five seconds. Okay, I've got an MD8 in front of the lens and a premium soft rad 0.9 just taking off the edge of the, of the water behind the snake uh, and taking off just a little bit of the reflection of the water that is on the animal itself but uh, beautiful beautiful shot happy 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 Well guys and girls, what an absolutely fantastic day of imaging. Numerous uh, Hime Habus. The other two species of Habu uh, ev evaded us today, but no big deal. Um, we're now walking out of the uh, river now. Going to head back to the car. It's a long drive home, but what I want to do is I want to put together the, uh, the, the stack, the focus stack images that we took at the end there of the, of the last snake. Uh, and we'll see how that all pans out. I'm really, I'm, I'm fingers crossed for that one because that's what I set out here to do. Um, but again, fantastic day. Um, this river, this river, just for your interest, used to be a part of the, um, the jungle training 
uh, or the jungle warfare training area that's used by the US military presence here in Okinawa. Uh, it's since been given back to the Yambaru National Park and it certainly is a massive asset because it's just this incredibly wild, untouched, pristine environment. Uh, I haven't seen any trash, which is a godsend, um, and it's just completely wild, which is fantastic. Um, and it's open to the public, so that's all good. Guys and girls, please do feel free to subscribe, hit that notifications button, uh, and you'll be notified as and when new content's available. In the near future, I'm going to be upping my game with regards to the equipment that I use for filming, um, adopting uh, some mirrorless technology, uh, and it's seriously time to update the camera that I'm filming this with. So uh, hopefully, in the not too distant future, um, we'll have an update about all of that. So keep them peeled. Thanks for the support and for all of your awesome comments and interactions thus far uh, with the uh, YouTube channel. It's only going to get bigger, it's only going to get better, and it's because of your help uh, and because of your support that that's going to happen. So uh, I'm going to go home, check out the images from today, and I'll leave you with a slideshow of them. All right, cheers guys and girls, take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.